Number one says use the numbers below to solve. Use each digit once. So the first one wants the largest number. So I'm just going to take the largest number I see first, which would be 9. Then the second largest number, 7. Then 2. Then 1. Then 0. So the largest number I can make would be 97,210. Then it wants the smallest number, but it says don't start with 0. So if we can't start with 0, the next smallest number would be 1. Then I'll put my 0. Then 2, 7, 9. So the smallest number I can make with all of those is 10,279. Number 2 says solve. 6 times 100, or 6 hundredths, equals 600. 6 times 10, or 6 tenths, equals 60. 6 times 1,000, or 6 thousandths, equals 6,000. In 60 times 10, 6 times 10 is 6, and then we have to add those two zeros, is 600. Number three says, which of the following are all multiples of six? Choose the best answer. So if I think of my multiples of six, I just start counting by sixes. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. So now if I look at all of my multiples, the first one is 24, 72, 19, which is not a multiple, and 36. So the first one doesn't work. The next one, we have 12, which works, 27. We have 24 and 30, but not 27, so that does not work. The last one, we have 60, which works, 48, 12, and 24. This looks right, but let's check our last one just in case. And then we have 6, which works, 56. We have 54 and 60, but not 56. Therefore, the third one is correct. Number four says solve. So if we look at the first one, 56 times 4, we do 4 times 6 first, which is 24. Write your 4, carry your 2. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22. Therefore, the answer is 224. B says 423 times 6. So again, 6 times 3 is 18, carry the 1. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13, carry the 1. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 is 25. Therefore, the answer is 2,538. Number 5 says solve. 27 divided by 9 is 3. 270 divided by 9, we ignore the 0 for a second. 27 divided by 9, we know is a 3. And then we need to add that 0 back. So it's 30. 42 divided by 7 is 6. Same thing. 420 divided by 7. We can just ignore the 0 for a minute. 42 divided by 7 is 6. And then we need to add that 0 back. So our answer is 60. And the last one, number 6, says write the following number in expanded form. So I just look at each one of my place values. The 2 is in the 10 thousands. So therefore, 20,000 plus the 3 is in the thousands, 3,000 plus the 4 is in the hundreds plus the 6 is in the tens plus the 5 is in the ones. That's how you write 23,465 in expanded form.